We are firing off our final game. Final game of the season. So this is going to be Team Sapphire versus Team Onyx <clears throat> on Napal. So this is our king of the hill here. Updating our score to reflect the 1v1. And this is going to be, I mean, this is a $180 game right here, you know. Each yeah. player has their opportunity of walking away with their prize. And we upped it from last season, which is good for uh, for the Overwatch Chicago League. Yeah, you get an opportunity to kind of get a little bit more bang for your buck, I guess, out here. I mean, you get your four weeks of games, but you're also getting an opportunity to win some prizes here. And, and also immortalized as the Overwatch Chicago Season 2 champion. An opportunity to look at our teams here. Fairly standard play. Um, we've seen a lot of success with carry, both on Hitscan as well as Roadhog. It's interesting that they're opting for that more now. Um, Blitzball opting to Farah himself. Interesting. So this will be interesting because Carrie is a good soldier, but he's not on soldier. Yeah. So, is he going to be able to uh, to wreck havoc, havoc on? Doing some immediate damage out of the gate there. I think the gig's up. I wonder if Onyx is thinking, we got another Pharah, what are we going to do to deal with that? Or are they just going to do Pharah on Pharah? It might be. Look at that, already picking off these healers. Very aggressive, and they don't have anything to do with Blitzball. He's just... This is free range for them right here. Quai sent by though, finally starting to intercept and deal with him, but she's on the wrong side of the wall right now. Yep, can't get to him. But Zave just picking off these kills, so even though he's up there trying to terrorize, it's not gonna be enough, he's already at half health, and they're just gonna eventually burn him down. There they go. Alt comes down for Shrades, doesn't connect like he wants to, but still is enough to get him taken down, and Onyx picking up this point right at the start, chasing off Team Sapphire. Sapphire goes back to collect themselves. We got Will, who's probably at 90% charge right now. <laughs> 65. 65 close. Yep, and already at his ult nearly. Yep. So. Oh, Perry with the mixed hook, missed hook there on the right-hand side, which is a good vantage point for the Pharah and Soldier players along that right there. Ooh, trades, get the Discord orb and down on health. Shield is dropping, and Will with that ult right in the middle. Doesn't manage to do anything, but three straws really pays off there at the end there. Swinging it again with Ninja as support. Popping these ults is definitely paying off for him, but they also have Yurtable's res, but Yurtable goes down, which means that Ninja is able to successfully get his team moving. I think Zave is probably just trying to extend a little bit longer, but he gets taken down too. Now, Team Sapphire has an opportunity to get a little bit closer to winning these matches. So we've got a couple big alts here again coming out. We didn't get the chance to see Yurtable's res. Um, Not this round. It's consistently been what's... Ooh, almost get grouped out of there. Um, they're not, this Team Onyx is not used to having to deal with a Farah, but... Uh, they're going to have to figure something out, and Shrades almost has his ult up here to deal with it. I don't know, I think Onyx is holding on all right, considering uh, Farrah switch up. Managed to block that ult, and Free Shots picks up Shrades with the support of Trin here. Don't think Team Onyx is going to be able to pick up this point at this time. Uh, Sapphire, actually, I was going to I was gonna be the uh, skeptic with Trin's ult there as Zen, but I think that was well played. Oh, ops for the res. Big res. Right into that ult, but it gets blocked. Shreds was, oh, ooh, blitz ball, huge ult there. Wow, that was a team effort by Sapphire to clean up house. Yep. So we're having a lot of success with uh, Blitz Bolts on Farah here. And they are rounding up that 70% on the point. Onyx still has more than enough opportunity here to get to give another shot. So Free Straw's shield's getting pretty weak here, and with Kawhi Senpai's ult, you know, we might have an opportunity. might be able to see him do something here. They're coming along that left side. Free straws way in there, trying to connect it. Vault comes down out of Link, keeping his team Sapphire pretty healthy. 
They gotta get on that point. I don't know if Onyx is paying attention to that. Ooh, they dart on there just in time. Kawhi Senpai drops her ult, carry nailing his. And we got the ult also out of... Got uh, the res there, so Yurgle staying alive and covered. Team Onyx reclaims it at 99. Wow. I was doubtful there for a second. That was really a, a move at the last minute for Onyx. And they managed to save the res as well, which is going to be did. very important moving forwards on this. So we're going to maybe have, ooh, Ninja gets taken out quickly, which means that Zave is going to have a lot of freedom to make some hits here. Zave can really harass right now. He is still going to need to be careful of that Zenyatta. Not obviously the, in the same way, but... I mean, he's still getting discorded. I mean, clearly targeted right now. Ready for transcendence. Yeah, definitely keeping an eye on where those discord orbs are going is going to be important to have an idea of what Sapphire's thinking is their main target priority. We're at an 85% here. This is probably going to be Team Sapphire's last opportunity for a push here. Um, here they're they rounding 90%. All coming out here, they're seeing a little split up, and Zave's taken down, which is not going to be good for that team as they're starting to collapse already. Trying in a very nice ult coming in there to lead the charge, though. Onyx taking it over, and an ult comes out of will. Picks up his carry on the opposite side of the wall there. He's trying to shred, but not going to be enough. Didn't make it happen. Zave extends it just a little bit. Not going to be enough. Wow. Team Sapphire picks up the first match here. Wow. For their best of three, King of the Hill. Yep. Really close games here. Back and forth on the point. I don't know. That switch over to Blitzball was interesting. In some ways, we would have anticipated that that would have opened up Zave a lot more on the point. This time, though, didn't seem to make a difference. No, I don't think so. I mean, we're still seeing the same kind of very damage dealer dependent. You know, healers here play a big part, obviously, with two very aggressive teams. I mean, when does a healer not play a big role in the game there? Absolutely. And I think, you know, you look at Blitzball's able to get through their lineup, pick them off. Um, and do this pretty much the same thing that Zave's able to do, uh -huh. but Team Onyx isn't really running a hit scan to deal with it. It's very, uh, it's a little bizarre to be honest. Yeah. All right, so we see Onyx positioning themselves right in the middle there, and a nice grab by Carry. Carry again, consistently hooking Will, but yeah. he's the one hero that doesn't die yeah. to the, the hook on a one shot, one up. That's true. Very high health on Zarya. Shield definitely helps mitigate some of that. And cool. Team Onyx draws first blood with a pick, and Yurtable goes down real quick, as Ooh. is Kawhi Senpai's back. Freeze draw swinging and asking questions later with a couple of cleanup kills there. Ooh. So Team Onyx only able to pick up 9% before giving it back. So Team Sapphire, very dominating retake there. Ooh, we've got Dorgosaurus way out of position here. Really lurking. I wonder what they're thinking. He's looking to get back with his team. They're kind of collecting on the left side here, so it's good for him. He's up top, but he joins his team on the bottom. Got Zave just trying to zip around here. Already low health. Gets nailed by free straws. They still initiate, even though they've got a man down here. Strade's going wild, but he gets picked up as well. They're kind of all over the place. Great move by Will there to keep up his targets, so. Team Sapphire holds on a little bit longer. Wow. Well played. You know, I gotta, I am gonna disagree with Team Onyx's decision to not run a hit scan at this time. I think it's gonna be really important. Blitzball just has free range. You don't even need to be that good of a Pharah to really be, I mean, Blitzball is a this great Pharah, but, but at this point in the game, yeah, I, all your choke points are so, I mean, they're just all tunnels. You just blast in there. Yeah, and you don't really have any way to stop it. Yeah. Onyx is not responding very well to this fair threat. Well, now they're doing, I mean, now they're in a little better position, I would argue, because they're up above, but still very tight corridors you're dealing with. We're already rounding around 80% on the point for uh, Team Sapphire here. 
This is going to be tough to do anything here with Blitzball just getting ready. Ooh, carry with that hook just out of reach. But is ulting with a Oh, and put down. Picked up and Blitzball clears him. And Yurnable goes down as well, which means that this is going to be another Sapphire win there. Whoa, Sapphire with that kill stream. Jeez. Big, wow. big pickup off Sapphire. Oh, big there. win there. Wow. That was very commanding by Team Sapphire. You know, I'm going to recall, though, the last week's games where they played, this, I think, happened, and I think Team Onyx actually walked away with a victory. Did they do a reverse sweep? Uh, Onyx came back in one game three. So, so they've been behind before yeah. and been able to come back. We d yeah, we definitely did not see them crumble. So again, though, what we're seeing out of Team Onyx now is... Oh, there we go. I was just going to say, I think yeah. you just can't can't do things this way. You know what? Trades on Roadhog. This is really his hero. He is not a Ryan player. Yeah, this, um, this will be some good him. hooks here, so keep your eye on Shreds. Yeah, he is. This is, I think, much more in his wheelhouse. They obviously lose the Ryan, which is going to be deal, difficult to deal with free straws, but they might be thinking, you know, let's play the heroes we're comfortable with, the people that we like to be, and let's deal with it that way. Yeah. But free straws already picking up Kawhi. Sent by Benzev now. Save and Free Strauss trading big blows at the beginning there. And Sapphire's up with one more off the point. Oh, look at that. Carry and Trace managing to pick this point up with the Irritable behind him, just keeping him up. And it looks like Team Onyx is going to be picking up this first point. So they might be thinking around much more comfortable players than we're used to. Trin, a little bit out of position here, but... Everyone He's getting some up. good support by Blitzball to keep him up. And they're being threatened in this tiny little room here. Sapphire's really putting the pressure in there. And save it from the back, nailing these shots. He's going to have his ult up soon. Trying to deal with Blitzball a little bit. Is able to connect. Catches him on the wall with the punch. With to take the him out. punch is the insulting last hit. Right there we go. Zaves loves that position up there. Look at that all coming down, picking up a lot there. That's going to completely wow. stop the Sapphire push. And Onyx knows their limits. They go right to the doorway just to taunt him just enough. Wow. But that scatter right there is going to be huge. That's going to buy more percentage, more time for Team Onyx to get that much closer yep. to getting the point. Team Shrade's er, running out there. So here they go, Team Sapphire moving on up with uh, Blitzball quickly picking up the kill. And you can see he's up there. Whoa! Knocks down Link. Link with down town. Rez comes out of Yurtable, but a lot of the players died to up the point. And that's a lot of ults, though, out of Team yeah. Sapphire there. That might have been a bit of a misplay. They comfortably had that point. They really did. Yeah, but you know what, though? If you look at Onyx, I guess, uh, well, no. I mean, Shred's ult's going to be highly effective because the, the opportunity to bop players off the off the point. Mm -hmm. So there is some potential here for Onyx to come back with a vengeance. But we'll see here. I mean, I think a lot of this is going to be, again, on the back of Zave here. But look at that. The ult coming out of Shred's, just like you said, takes up two. Yep. Look at him chase him back, and Sapphire just doesn't have an all to deal with this. Um, Onyx just kind of walked on in there. Yeah, they blew a whole lot of alts to deal with this, and Link is already taken out, which is big heals that they need. They if are... you notice there, I was going to say, if we're looking at alts there, we've got a heal ult coming up from Dorcasaurus, and then Lucio, as well as Kewa Senpai, will, can throw an ult to get people off that point, too. Gotta be careful though, Zabe is lobbing a lot of shots. Ooh, there we go. There it goes. In a really awkward position there. Doesn't catch anybody, but we're down to the last seven, eight, nine. And we're on overtime on the point right now. As Team Sapphire starting to collapse, Yurtable gets taken down, which means this is probably gonna end up to be, oh, maybe not. All coming down. Whoa, there is the only one left. 
and goes down. It looks like this is going to be a Team Onyx pickup right here. Ooh. Bringing this to a two to one game. I like this play out of Onyx. Onyx said no, we're not going down. There's the meta, and then there's play the heroes that you're good at, that you're comfortable with. That's what we're seeing now on a Team Onyx. Which I have to suggest for those of you that ever struggle or feel the tilt, there's always that just play with your comfortable at, see where the cards fall. Obviously, you can't all just go in one direction. Yeah. Can't all just, be winnow. Yeah, you can't all be winnow. But there's times where this really does work. Yeah, you have a lot more comfort on your heroes. You feel like you can make it work, and that's what they're doing. Obviously, not having a Rhine is not an ideal situation, but if you're a better Roadhog than you are a Rhine, play to your strengths, and he's still a powerful force. Wow, Carrie's really, really going out there. Immediately knows probably Zave, well, Zave went center. I was gonna say, I think Carrie was anticipating the Zave there. Or playing with Zave, rather. You can see Free Strauss Barrier going oh. down there. Just a lot of the team is keeping distance from uh, from Free Straws, which allows them to pick him up. If you can notice, they're on both sides of it here. Now they're starting to collapse on this point. They got to be able to deal with Blitzball, though. Um, with Carry still up, he's likely able to connect those things. And you can see, ooh, Blitzball's up there doing a lot of work. But I don't know if it's going to be enough as Zave returns here. Ooh, already getting the ult from Blitzball. Oh. Does a lot of damage, even picks up that final shot. Yeah. Zave is still up there, though, saying no. We'll see. Not enough to hold it solo. No, Team Sapphire is able to pick it up here, but so far the first team has not had a lot of success holding it for long. So we'll see, though, if Sapphire is able to reclaim this. My ultimate is charged. Got some ults building up here. Zave picking up with the healers, which is good for them. And again, you notice this kind of like center and left push that we're seeing. Carry coming up from behind. And look at the I was like irritable's position, just hiding and healing. Oh, Carry, ooh, picking up some big kills here. Should be able to get Blitzball potentially, but he's able to get healed. It up. Blitzball gets out of harm's way. I've got you. He opts for this visor. Ooh, there we go. Oh, and it's responded to. But not before some big key targets come down. You gotta be careful here as Team Onyx is blowing a lot of ults to secure this point. But they've got a lot left so in the like bank. They might so have it, yeah. They reclaim the point at around halfway. For Team know, man. Onyx were looking at four ults sitting there. I was gonna say, they luckily yeah. only pulled two and they had four in the bank, so yeah. they're in really good shape. Uh oh. Just lob and shots from big distance there. Free Strauss takes that as an initiation invitation and starts moving. That ult does nothing though, unfortunately, for Team Onyx, but Irritable is able to keep his team up. Trades. Oh, already oh, blew no. his ult, and it looks like Sapphire is going to reclaim this point just as quickly as they yeah, lost. did. Still a lot of game left. They just rounded the 50%. But now they're looking, if they can hold this all the way through, they are going to be the winners of Season 2, 40% away. They're closing in slowly. You know Onyx is feeling that pressure right now. Oh yeah. Guys, we got to have that coordinated team push we just saw in the last game. Well-timed shots by Zave. We can see they're starting to push on this right side here. Forces the ult on a trend there a little early before the engagement. Yeah, it looks like he might have gotten a little nervous there. That's okay. Why sent by those out of mech, which is not good for them. Zave, though, trying to just get his ult up. If he's able to connect this, it's going to be really hard. Oh, stops the beat drop, but... Zave defensively alts, but he gets taken down. Ah. Yurtable does not have res up, and this team is starting to fall apart. It looks like Team Sapphire is going to be our Season 2 champions. And it looks like... Yeah. Yeah, Sapphire has it. Wow, really close wow. games there, all the way up to the end there. Onyx not able to pull off a win at that last minute. Wow. 
And Blitzball Blitz again. Ball. Three for three again on these with games. Play of the Definitely. Game. <laughs> big, big part of what. Uh, right, as, that is the perfect spot for that. Wow. Really great wins there. Nice work, Team Sapphire. All right, so it's a big congratulations to Team Sapphire there, who takes our grand finals 2-1. Some great plays there. Uh, we still have to decide who our uh, hero highlight of the game is going to be. Absolutely. So oh. if you guys have thoughts, opinions, definitely put them down there. I mean, looking at the game so far today, I mean, Zave obviously comes to mind as somebody who I think really uh, is an exemplary player. Did he get that in season one ever? Uh, I don't I think, think so. Well, we'll look through that. Yeah. Um, Yurtable with the heels. Yurtable had some really clutch heels. He kind of leaning towards him probably the most right now. But, I mean, you can't discount... Blitzball already got it, so Blitzball. we are going to discount yeah, him. Yeah, we can't do Blitzball. Will, phenomenal player, kept his team up, that energy charge, dealing with the Roadhogs constantly throughout yeah. the whole match. Um, just some really consistent players there. So definitely post who you guys think should be our hero highlight. Um, we'll take it into consideration. Um, and also, if you're watching the chat right now, we do have a survey out there that will help the league. Uh, as well as any Overwatch Chicago uh, future broadcast, so feel free to fill that out. Uh, we appreciate it, and uh, appreciate everyone who's watching from home and any players who weren't able to make it this season. Uh, also, thanks to you guys. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll uh, keep everybody posted on what's next for uh, the Chicago Overwatch League. All right, thanks.